how do you remember those times in the 90s? Well, uh, they were pretty wild because we were an Antwerp band and we didn't really have an example of, a, of another band that was like going to play in other countries. It was not... It was done in the dance scene. Fun242 was a very big name back in the 80s. But in rock, it was like kind of the first time that a Belgian band signed to an international label. It was Island Records. So it was wild, you know, we were 21, 22, and uh, um, I was, it was Klaus was, who was still in the band, was 17. Uh, Jules, he was, for me, then very old, he was 36 or something. So we had a different demography in the band, it was, but it was great, it was fun, it was fun and MTV helped us a lot, so uh, everywhere we came in Europe, you know, we played for full places and and uh, you know that was like the beginning of something that we hadn't really expected i mean i think the ambition was always there but you know but to to for it to happen is is another thing you know and uh, so it was great so this year you are celebrating 20th anniversary yeah. of your band which i congratulate you for you. yeah uh, if uh, tom barman who sits here today would meet uh, with tom barman from 20 years ago what would you say to him not, not much, I think. I don't think I've changed for good or for worse. I think I don't think I've changed that much. You like to think of yourself that you change a lot. People like to think when they go, you get older that they've changed. And, but uh, when you're in a band, you see a lot of material, moving material, like videos from you know, a long time ago. And then you see and you go like, I still do that. I'm still like that. So, so what would I say? Pro probably nothing. Probably nothing. I would probably, I would probably be intimidated by him <laughs> because of his youth. So, and power and everything. yeah, yeah. Probably we go like, oh man, yeah. let's stay away from that guy. So Pearl Jam uh, filmed the film about yeah, their. I saw it what about you, Deus? Oh, we made v various Plans, things. Maybe. Yeah, no. Yeah, you know, we've looked back enough now. There's been the 15 years of worst case scenario that that we re-released. There was a documentary done. There was a documentary that they did about me. There was like a documentary they did about the history of Deus. So, and we co collaborated every time with that. But you know, at one point, you you had enough. You know, we're not that old that we just want to spend our time in. So there won't happen. There will. There won't be anything. We'll just play. Have a good time and and release stuff. You know, we have a, a lot to uh, a lot of stuff that we did in the last two three years that we want to release one way or the other. So keep you close is the first okay. part of that, but there will be no special occasion. What about your audience? Are they grow up with you or you have a new fans, you know? Depends on what country sometimes and what town. Sometimes you play to people our age or a bit younger or a bit older. Uh, sometimes you play for students and, uh, and young people. So it's always great. I like it, to be honest, the most. I like it when it's a really good mix, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, then it's always great. That gives a very good atmosphere. You have like the young people who maybe reacted to a song like Architect or Ghost or and then you have the older generation who, uh, you know, want to hear Instant Street or, or such and so on. So uh, I like the mix. Okay. I like the mix. I wouldn't want to play for a bunch of kids, only the kids, and I wouldn't want to play f before only old people yeah. either. The mix is great. Um, maybe on your uh, latest album, you all se you sent us to a kind of musical trip. Is it maybe a lecture from Deus? Like you reminds us uh, of your previous work a lot, but still you're experimenting, experimenting, but still uh, sounds quite melodic and soft yeah. and down to earth. Maybe your comment on your latest work. We written all the whole album together, which is not a new thing, but it's new that we do the whole album, a whole album like that, which is basically starting with zero ideas, no riff, no beats, and we just play. And that uh, makes it uh, very good for all, every, the whole band to really come out. You know, our bass player has a very characteristic way of playing, and I was kind of bored of letting him play on a song that I bring, and then he just has to play boom, 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 boom. 
he has a very melodic and sometimes brutal way of playing. So in this way of working, everybody comes out better. Everybody can show their, their what they can do and, and how they feel about a certain groove or something. So that's, I guess, what makes it, what you say, down to earth. It's very much a band that you hear. It's a band who plays. And um, of course, we like to do uh, overdubs and work in the studio and work on sounds. But we just wanted, you know, nine songs that, that were fun to play, that were, uh, you know, melodic has always been the case with Deus, I think. So that's nothing new. also kept close on this album Greg Dooley maybe tell me yeah. something about this cooperation well, it, was, it was a coincidence uh, he um, he was in town in Antwerp he had to play the next day and a friend of mine I, I know him from a little bit from because we played with him in okay. you know uh, some tours we did small tours like four or five shows and uh, and I said yeah well to make a long story short I, I invited him to the studio the next day and he said, okay. And I said, well, if you come, you have to sing. But I had no idea what he was going to do. And then that night, he said, yes. Yeah. So that night I thought, okay, maybe he could do this, maybe he could do that. And he came in, he did it on two hours, and it was great. Uh, maybe who writes songs? I think you are the main songwriter. Well, and now, what now is we've written everything together, eh? This album? Yeah, we, uh -huh, we, yeah, 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 uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, in other albums? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, usually it's like 40, 50 percent I write the songs. Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe what kind of process is it for you to write lyrics? Do you Slow. A lot? <laughs> Slow. Slow. Yeah. Is it hard to write a, yeah. good, a good song? Yeah. A good song. yeah. S once every five years you get a song for free. Uh -huh. That It comes just like this. Yeah. But, but uh, the other four and a half years you have to... Work yeah. very hard. <laughs> How do you see that music industry has changed uh, during these 20 years, uh, maybe in the wake of uh, dec declining CD sales and everything? Where do you see new opportunities for bands like you? Well, I'm not really one who's doing uh, social networking and stuff, so, so uh, I kind of am old-fashioned, I guess. It's the old-fashioned way of playing, going to play a lot. We do a lot of shows, we tour a lot. and So, um, you know, people... Uh, People don't buy the records uh, like they used to. It's just, but that's you know nothing new. It's nothing, not much you can do about it. About a, apart from, it's good that vinyl is coming up again. A lot of young people are buying vinyl, which is good. So, but it is a problem that young people think that everything that is made by somebody else is just uh, for free. You know, that's a that is a big uh, problem in the heads. That's much more important than just a musician who makes a CD and they, they download a CD. It's more the attitude which is very fucked up, I think. So, uh, but you know, it's the way it goes, so it's not much you can do about it. Luckily, we've built a fan base over the years, so so uh, we can still do what we do. I'm, I, I count ourselves quite lucky that we can still do it, you know, because uh, I know a lot of great, 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 great bands who almost have no income anymore and we're not talking about some local little shitty band we're talking about you know classic great bands and um, and that's a shame Or do you see, uh, see new challenges for your band, maybe? Well, new territories, definitely, because we've done Europe so many times now. So, as I said bef before the interview, I'm yeah. very excited to be here. I really am. I l unfortunately, too little time to see the town because it was on number one on my list in Europe because I heard great stories about it that it's beautiful. So, only three hours, but Zagreb tomorrow, Bratislava on Saturday. 
So, uh, oh no, Budapest, but there we've been, and then Bratislava on Sunday. So this is great, this is new. Um, and then Australia in May for the first time, looking forward to that. We have no idea what we're going to do there, but, you know, pe pe yes, okay, we're going to play, but you, do, you need people there, so we'll see, we'll see. Maybe if you wouldn't be a musician, what would you be? I would be a film director, yeah. yeah. I did a film already. Yeah. I did one uh, in 2003. Yeah, I did a feature, a feature film. Yeah, no, not a documentary. Uh, 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 it was a uh, what was it? A, a tragic comedy. Tragic comedy. Yes. Okay, that goes well with people. Yeah, <laughs> it's about people. Yeah. Uh, you're maybe in what kind of music are you currently? What what music do you listen to? I am compiling a jazz uh, compilation for a great label called Impulse, uh, American label, and uh, they were fantastic work in the 50s and the 60s. And I'm that's what I've been doing all winter. Apart from being in the studio, um, I've been doing that nonstop, listening to jazz. And uh, but great, there's a lot of rubbish, but there's fantastic stuff. So that's recently, and I'm from new or pop or rock or hip hop. Uh, I'm crazy about uh, Mark Lanigan, the new band, the new album. I love the Roots. The last two albums, three albums were great. Uh, I love Substract. Uh, what else do I like? Well, uh, I try to follow obviously the Black Keys stuff like that. So um, I try to keep it, but it goes in waves with me. Sometimes I don't buy anything for half a year. And then I would buy 15 a day. So it's, I'm, I'm always faithful, but uh, I, I have times where I, I just go somewhere else in my head. Maybe for the last question, how would you describe uh, your band, Bdeos, in three short sentences? Sentences? <laughs> or, uh, it can be... Uh, Predicti predictably unpredictable, uh, violent, sweet, um, uh, dramatic, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well that's for you to judge. Yeah.